Now, previously being part of comic book fandoms myself, I understand the importance of them. We'll do our jobs to preserve the sanctity on the business end, and we hope you will help us preserve a more healthy and thriving fandom. If we manage to do that, we're going to be very competitive in this market, and we're going to make our mark on this industry. But it does prove that all of these weirdos who insisted that this was a standard policy, that insisted that, well, they're going to release the money. It's only until you ship stuff. So just deliver the product that had nothing to do with anything as far as why PayPal is holding as much money as they are uh, in our account. Uh, as we get into deep into the summer, it's August by the time you see this video. And we're on vacation right now. Well, it's a work vacation as we prepare for the fall. Uh, there will be a little bit of slowdown in content, but uh, don't worry. Uh, we have produced a lot of content uh, to cover us for the next couple of weeks. So you'll be, you'll be seeing our normal videos, not the amount that you normally see. But, uh, hey, it's, we try to put all that together, but there's a lot coming this fall, I'll tell you this. Uh, but uh, getting to the important part of this, you know, they keep telling us, if you don't like it, go somewhere else or make it your own. And, you know, you, people try their best, their hardest to try to, hey, listen, they want to create their own. If you're creative, if, you're, if you like to create comic books, if you like to create stories, videos, you know, uh, go right ahead. You know, no, nobody stops you from this. There's, pl there's plenty of room out there. There's plenty of room for new stories and new uh, voices that should be heard. I mean, th there's a change. I mean, late night, late night is dying right now it is literally taking a swan dive as you see many late night shows either the hosts are quitting or the shows have been canceled you know a la samantha b and you look at the problems with certain companies that you have to deal with when it comes to getting paid now we had we had a video back a bit, and we talked about uh, Eric July's Ripaverse, and it's doing fantastic. Um, as of the time of this recording, we're about 3.3 million. Probably by now, hopefully, it'll be at four. I, it has slowed down a bit, and I think it is because of this issue in itself. And there needs to be call to the FTC, to the Federal Trade Commission, at this point. Because you have a company as is PayPal, a company that's all over the world that takes payments from various vendors and, you know, pay, pays the vendors from the customers. Uh, they also transfer money. Is, you know, this is where they make their money from, you know, all, all this type of um, transfer of, of finances. But we got... Uh, in the last week or two, some notice from Eric July that PayPal decided, well, we're going to hang on to the funds that have been put on here, which is about 30% of his funds, which is about 1.2 million, something, 1.2, 1.3. And they gave a lot of excuses. And from the little clip you saw in the beginning, you saw what Eric had said about this. And they keep, what they call it, it's not raising the bar, they keep changing the policy. Now people say, well, that is part of their policy. No, you look into the perspective of the way it's being handled. You have someone here who literally, and literally is already, com this is, you know, compared to a lot of other, um, 
independent comics that are being produced, most of them are in the beginning stages or in the... I mean, there's one that I did into, uh, that I paid into, and that was two years ago. It still hasn't been completed yet. It's still it's on the way. Uh, you know, it's still being worked on, and there has been some delays on it. And, you know, I didn't put much... I didn't put 25. You know, it's an interesting comment. And, it, you know, I do... When I find something that I find interesting or something that sh I should uh, be putting into, and I do donate my share. But what we got here is a situation, an overreach by a company that have decided for themselves that we should hang on to the money, try to make some more money off of that money, which that's what it's starting to look like, and make it harder for this person. Maybe they, they're being whispered in the ears by the bigger companies. You never know. And this has happened before with PayPal. You have a situation where money is being held by an independent company, an LLC, that the, the comic books are done. They're done. They're on the, most of it is already arrived in the warehouse. The rest of it is arriving now. They've sent proof. Eric has sent proof to PayPal has shown him everything. In other words, he has shown them the receipts. You know, when we say, show me the receipts. Show me the receipts. We have shown the receipts of everything. But yeah, they're claiming, well, you know, fraud and this, this and that. Do you, and I gotta ask this, I have to ask this fucking question to PayPal. Do you do this to Amazon? Do you do this to Disney? Do you do this to the thousands upon thousands of corporate companies that do pre-sales? Whether it's the comic book industry, the book industry, novel, when you say novel, books, uh, the, the DVD, Blu-ray industry, the toy industry. Do you do this to any of these companies at all? Do you hold back it? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think you automatically, as soon as you get the money, you pay it out to them. And the excuses that, you, that you're that you giving to him. See, the thing about it is, Eric has the product. He will, sh and for those of you who have signed up, if you've watched this show and signed up because you've seen it on this show, don't worry if you use PayPal, especially the international, you're going to get your books. According to Eric, you will get your books. It's he hasn't been paid yet. He hasn't received the funds that those of you who have used PayPal to pay for the product that you're getting. But don't worry about it. Don't put any contestants, stuff like that. Do question them. If you're going to email and question them, why hasn't the vendor been paid? And those of you who get their product on time or maybe a week or two late, show them at PayPal that you have received it. Shove it in their fucking faces. Because this is what I'm putting at this point. Eric, yeah, get your lawyers involved. And I know he has his lawyers involved. Two, somebody should be contacting the Federal Trade Commission at this point. And also uh, the people who handle banking. You know, because you have a company that is withholding funds, funds that are legitimate, funds going to a legitimate LLC. There is no excuse for you to hold the funds. And from what I understand, they're going to delay it. So by the time he gets the money, it's probably going to be about four months, five months down the line. An amount of $1.225 million, which is less actually than what they are actually holding, has been set aside from your current available balance and has been uh, placed in a reserve. Your reserve will be set to retain 100% of the processed amount for each day to be held for a 60-day rolling period beginning on above date. This is where it gets fishy. Well, it was always fishy, but this is for those weirdos who just, well, it's just standard, standard, standard pop. No, it's not. 
Why on earth would they be holding it for 60 days if that were the case? They're only going to let it let it loose a little bit at a time after 60 days. After fucking 60 days. PayPal, did you get your money on time? Did you get your money when you took it out of the accounts of the customers of Eric July? You got the money on there. You've been paid by them. So pay Eric July. Pay Ripperverse Comics. Pay them what they are due. This is why we, we always keep saying, we, you know, competition. You need competition. You see all these companies swallowing up everybody else, you know, and all that, and we don't have enough competition out there. This is the perfect example even though the, here in the U.S. we do have other pay, we do have other payment processors, but the the reason why he was using PayPal was for the international customers, which PayPal has a monopoly on. Yes, there are other payment processors o overseas, but PayPal is the largest. And the thing is, is that this has got to stop. This has got to stop. I mean. You know somebody whispered something into PayPal's ears. Somebody said something. The greed of this company alone should tell you. 1.2 million, 1.2, 1.3 million dollars. How much does Amazon put through PayPal, gets through PayPal? How much does Disney, how much does Marvel, DC, um, Hasbro, Let's go down the list of every company, how much money funnels through PayPal. It's a lot, including the small business. How many small business owners have you done this to? I'm just curious on that. I'm very curious. If you're a small business owner and you do watch this video, these videos on q to cast please let me know in the comments below. Have they held back money from you? How long have they held back the money? Because this is ridiculous. It doesn't matter which side of the aisle you're on. Because they could pull this with anybody. It don't matter left, right, center, up, down, black, white. I hope, you know, that Eric gets this back. But I also hope that this goes into a courtroom. And gets passed on to, to the FTC. Because the FTC is looking at several companies these days for monopolies. It has been in the news recently. You know, I've said the MGM deal, that should be looked at. The Crunchyroll deal, that should have been looked at. That should have been not passed over. And many other deals. We might have to look at the Disney and Hulu deal right now. Because Disney's looking to unload Hulu. If they unload Hulu, shoot, let's pull an FTC um, investigation on that. There's a lot of shit going down in the business world. And when companies that are independent, especially on one side of the aisle, and not saying Eric is on the conservative side because Eric is not a conservative. They, they call him a conservative, but he's not a conservative. He's a libertarian. But if they opposed the left, they're, they're thrown into problems. And that's a curious thing especially coming from PayPal, which has pulled this shit before, where, peop where, where people were shut down that they could not use PayPal uh, to receive their payments. If you remember the situations with Patreon and a couple of other companies, yes, you are to protect your customer and to protect your vendor. No, you can't choose size sides. Just like a store... You, you have to satisfy your customer. And I'll tell people, walk away from PayPal. I mean, I'm right now I'm using PayPal and I'm looking for another, another service to replace PayPal on receiving donations from you, my viewers. You know, right now, the best way to do it is, you know, buy a t-shirt at the moment if you don't want to use PayPal. So let's hope this gets resolved by, hopefully soon, comment, subscribe, like, share, have a good summer vacation.
and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in, and bye-bye now.